Howdy, y'all. I'm going to tell you all in the beginning, this ain't a gun video. So, those of you guys that get on here just simply for the gun videos, you're probably going to want to find something else to watch. Uh, something happened to me today. I kind of want to get on here and talk about for a minute. And I am not one to ever get online or post or any of that stuff about anything that's going on or my opinion on anything because I'm a firm believer that if what you're doing is not affecting me, that's fine. My opinion can stay to myself. But something happened to me today that it just struck me as wrong. I want to get on here and talk about it for a minute because really I'm curious to see what I hear back from this. And I already got a good idea of what I'm going to hear back. Anytime you get online and say anything like this, it's always all the, the hate, troll kind of stuff, but it, it is what it is. Anyway, I, now granted, I, I'll give you that I'm a little bit of a fish out of water. I mean, it's no secret that I'm a country boy. I was born and raised in the country, but I'm, I'm well-traveled. I've been all over this country. I've been out of the country a handful of times. I'm very well-read. And uh, now granted, I can play the, the simple country boy act pretty well if I need to, but when it comes down to it, I'm not the dumbest guy in the world. And I like to think that, I really like to think that I'm a pretty helpful guy. That I, I really try, anybody that knows me, to tell you that I'd do damn near anything for anybody, even if I knew you are not. If you needed it, I'm the guy that usually will try to help you. I'm leaving a gas station today. I'm just getting in my truck, just got started, just getting ready to back up. And this black fella comes up to me, and I'm only mentioning race because I think it's important to the story. Um, and it's no secret, nobody's coming up for it. I saw him at a couple different cars, you know, as I'm getting in, he's, he's walking around asking for money. Okay. Well, I went into the gas station, got something to drink, come out. I literally didn't have my wallet on me. I had $2 in my pocket because I left without my wallet. I had pulled into the gas station to grab something to drink to come back to get my wallet so I can go out where I was going. Well, he comes out the window and he asked me if I had got any change to spare. And as a partner, I got about 19 cents left over after buying this soda. And I was willing to give him what I had left over. But before I could say anything else, he started spewing out all these, you know, I'm a dumb redneck and blah, 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 blah. It, it was just, it was crazy to me. Like, I, I even tried to ask him. I said, you know, hold, hold on a second, partner. Let me ask you a question. He just kept going and going. And finally calling me a racist, telling me that I'm, I'm an evil white racist and blah, blah, blah. And I hate black. He was screaming it to where everybody in the parking lot could hear this guy saying everything. Simply because... I didn't have enough on me to give him freely to fulfill whatever whatever he felt I needed or whatever I owed him. Now, I never said anything even that could even be remotely construed as mean to the guy. In fact, I was trying to calm him down so I could figure out where the hell he was coming from. But it boiled out of control, of course, and everybody's looking at me like I'm some kind of social pariah. I'm wearing a cowboy hat, so of course, I must be the evil racist. When the hell did we get here? I mean, what the hell happened? There's so many things about that, that one situation that's so wrong to me. For one, the fact that this fella was moving around just fine. I'd say he was late 20s, early 30s at bet or at oldest. But, I mean, he was moving around just fine, fully, fully capable of going out and making a living. But instead, he's hanging out at the, at the gas station asking everybody else for the money that they're working for to give to him. And if you don't have enough, I was literally willing to give him everything I had in my pocket. Granted, it wasn't a whole lot, but it's all I had to give him. I would have given him more if I had more on me. But he didn't even give me a chance to explain that to him. Now, that, on the face of it, was wrong to begin with. But, and I can understand somebody on hard times. I mean, I, I come from the area where you help somebody. If your neighbor, or it doesn't even have to be your neighbor, if somebody is hurting and they need help, it is your obligation to try to give them a hand if you can do it. I don't believe I'm turning my back on anybody. But he quickly pulled that race card and made sure that everybody with an earshot thought that I was some kind of crazy racist. And it, when did we get here? How, how did this happen? I mean, it, you can blame it on a thousand different things. You really can. But the problem is, is it's not going to get better. Your life is going to get so much worse. I'm talking to every single one of you watching this video. Your life is going to get so much worse until we can figure out how to make this better. And there, it not, it's not give everybody what they want and, you know, you can have half of what I make just simply because you don't, you don't make as much as I do. That ain't the key. I was born, no joke, I was born in a barn in East Kentucky. We didn't have runner water or electricity until I was about 11, 12 years old. Everything I have today 
is because I sweated for it. Nobody gave me a damn thing. I've never gotten a loan from a bank. I've never gotten anything from anybody. No one's ever given me a loan. Everything I have today, and I'm proud to say I make a decent living, but it's because the sweat on my brow and the dirt under my fingernails is why. Now, I've given a lot to a lot of people that I didn't even know, knowing that I was never going to get none of it back. But it, it's, it's the human obligation. I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not a socialist by any stretch of the imagination. But I do believe that if you can help somebody, then you should. I mean, that's a simple human decency. But the problem is, is when the people you're helping feel like they're owed. They feel like you owe them what you have in your pocket. You owe them this. You owe them that. Not, thank you for helping me when I'm down and out and I really need a hand. This is never going to get better. I don't want to sound all dreary, but I'm telling you people, this is never going to get better. It's going to take, it's going to take a division down between us like nothing anybody in this generation has ever seen because there have been clear lines drawn from one side to the other. And it is insane to me how we've gotten to this point. I hope to God that it never gets worse, but the reality is that it's going to. I don't even know what to do. I mean, I've, I've got kids. I'm terrified for my children. The world that they're going to grow up in. And I realize I'm just going off on some stupid rant that none of y'all care about, and I'm going to get 50,000 hate comments from everybody. But the fact of the matter is, people, we can't figure out. And this is coming from somebody on the other side, okay, that I hear all the time that we must be racist, we must be this, we must, we're terrible people, we have hate in our hearts. I'm telling you right now, people, if, we can, if I can figure out how to make this better by making everybody feel good about it, I'm all for that solution. It's just never enough. It's just never enough. I don't know what else to say. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I just, I guess I'm just fed up where we're at, what we're doing. I, I, I don't care if I get a thousand hate comments. I just want to hear from one person one person that maybe see things the same way as I do. Maybe this whole thing will be worth it to me. And Hell, I don't know. I hope y'all's day is a hell of a lot better than mine, and I hope tomorrow will be a whole lot better than today. God bless every single one of you. If this offended you, I do apologize. It's just where we are. If this offended you, then you clearly know what side of that line you're on. Y'all take care. Here we go.